Coach, coming off two big wins over Columbia and Cornell this past weekend, the team's now riding a six-game winning streak, which is the longest in eight seasons. How important has roster depth been in this streak? I think one of the best things that has happened with this team this year is that when we substitute, we don't have any kind of a drop-off. Uh, we have so many players who are, who are just doing a very, very solid job. And, uh, you know, I always, I always tell my team, before you, before you can help us, first you got to not hurt your team. You know, first... First, you have to be sure you're not hurting a team. Then you can worry about all the great things you can do for your team. And so we're just getting, you know, real smart, focused play from everybody. To you, what is it about the backcourt of Wyckoff, Simpson, and Santucci that's just been working so well lately? I think they complement each other very well. They each bring something so different to the table. And uh, Marianne is sort of our energizer. She's She just really sets the tone with how hard she works and how much energy she brings to the floor. Uh, you know, Whitney's very heady, really understands the game. She has a very calming presence out there. Uh, and Tamara's sort of our secret weapon. You, you just never know when she's going to show up and do something pretty cool, you know. <laughs> so they're, they're just, they, they're, they very much complement each other, I think. On the other side of that, Katie Werner and Emmy Allen have been very effective down low. What has impressed you about their play? Probably the thing I'm happiest about with them is just that they both keep getting better. Um, it has been important for us that particularly Emmy Allen and, and uh, Jen Berkowitz um, you know, show some improvement, and they've done that in, in the past month. So now that we have an honest-to-goodness post-presence, um, Katie's been playing well all year. She's just been doing a really solid job for us all year, but I think the improvement of those two players is definitely going to help us as we get into this tougher and tougher stretch uh, of Ivy play. Dartmouth and Harvard next up this weekend. Yale hasn't started an Ivy season 4-0 since the 79-80 season. What's it going to take to keep up this streak? Well, that, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? <laughs> I think, uh, as I told the team, especially for a team as young as we are, we couldn't have scripted it better from the standpoint of every game has been a, a, a greater challenge uh, and have represented a different kind of challenge. And we've had to get better at something to get through the next game, the next game, the next game. And, and it's not changing. You know, every game uh, represents something we've got to get better at if we're going to be successful. So it's it's just we we approach it as, hey, let's see if we can take it to this level for this one, you know. And uh, so far the team is, has responded.